There's massive shifts in the industry right now. I'm not about any of the male gaze bullshit. My name is Erica Bronstein and I'm a photographer. I grew up in Shettleston, which is in the east end of Glasgow. Um, not an area which is known for its great reputation, but I, to be honest, always liked it. And you had this way and then prepared to swing. I can't tell you the moment I first picked up a camera, but I've always had sort of cameras in my life. Didn't necessarily have an awful lot of money and not a massive amount of opportunities for creatives. So there was no access to photography related resources or courses or subjects at school. My uncle loved photography and videography, so he was in charge of all the sort of family home movies. So I was introduced to it from a young age, out with education and financial limitations. So that's where it started for me and what sparked my initial interest there, and it's just been a passion ever since. Okay, this looks great. At first, it was like quite a long transition for me to find fashion per se. I just started off taking pictures of my friends really badly. Then a friend asked me to shoot their wedding, so that spiralled on and before I know it, I shot a whole ton of weddings. Wasn't ever really where I had intended on going with it, but because people were grateful of seeing my wedding photography and, and appreciated it, I just kind of went down that path. Then I started working as a nightclub photographer. I worked with um, lots of drag queens. I did photography for some queens from RuPaul's Drag Race. And then it kind of just evolved into fashion somehow. When Instagram first popped its head up, I made one of them, just became a bit more connected, networked. Rather than thinking of it as like me taking pictures of my friends, it was more about the team. I think fashion is a massive collaboration. If you think of a, a fashion shoot, it's like a sort of pyramid or like a, a Jenga game. Like there is not one block that you can remove without the whole thing collapse and you need good models, you need good lighting, you need assistance, you need makeup, you need hair, you need the stylist, you need the art director, you need the photographer. So really it's actually quite nice to be, you know, you're, you're not like the most important person on the shoot, it is like a proper unified chain. I like the, the busyness and the clothes are going everywhere and there's colours and there's makeup and there's glitter spilled on the floor. Like, that excites me. So I think one of the best moments for me as a photographer is when I got my first image approved onto Photo Vogue, which is Vogue Italia's platform for photographers. So the first time I got that, I was quite ecstatic and I've, I've had about 26 on Vogue Italia now, but getting that first one, because I've been trying and trying and trying, and getting the first one in there is always the hardest. Once you've kind of proved you can do it once, it's a domino effect from there, but that first one was a bit of a nightmare. I'm quite hard on myself as well, so the achievements that I want to do, you know, I've maybe won X award or been in X magazine, but I never really think of it like that. I always just think of what am I going to do next? What's the next project? Am I going to do like a photo book? Am I going to do an exhibition for this? So I'm always sort of thinking on the next one and not so much focusing on what I've done in the past. But I would say Vogue Italia was definitely one of the most exciting ones. There's massive shifts in the industry right now. I think I'm quite lucky that I haven't experienced any issues around the hashtag Me Too scandal. And perhaps that is just because I'm a bit of a scary bitch myself. But I work with female models who are 15, 16 years old, who've been put in uncomfortable positions, being persuaded to pose in underwear or nude with the promise of being published in magazines and in careers. And that is just not what I'm about. I'm not about any of the male gaze bullshit. And I think the more we stick up for each other and the more we speak about these issues, the faster we can stamp them out and have a, a bit of a brighter industry in the future. <laughs>